What is up my of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay so today guys I want to talk to you all about is Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer. So there's been a bunch of data mines over the last few days because of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered was released for both Xbox and PC and of course every time a COD game is out on PC people are always trying to dig through the files and they have found a good bit of stuff for example the menu for multiplayer game modes and a lot more so before this video starts i just want to say thanks for watching it if you are not subscribed already you should uh just to stay up to date with modern warfare and any cod games or that are coming out in the future and many more games that i'll be uploading i also have a twitch which i live stream various games every week link down in the description below i also have a twitter which I also manually update whenever I go live on Twitch or whenever I upload a video to YouTube. So lots of information has come out from data mines and this isn't really a surprise considering it's Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and in some people's mind probably the best Call of Duty game. Now Modern Warfare, like a Modern Warfare game, Modern Warfare 2 probably is the best and I want to talk about why we will probably not have multiplayer in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. So the first thing I want to say about this, which I said in a previous video, was that it would be stupid of Activision and Infinity War to release multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered for what was the point in spending millions of dollars and hundreds of hours on creating a new engine for Call of Duty games and creating the soft reboot Modern Warfare series. So from a business point of view, if they did put multiplayer into Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, you will have a lot of OG players moving from Modern Warfare to go over to Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Lots of OG COD players would probably make the switch and this means the game you spent 3 years on and for many people would be just tossed to a side, not played or even just uninstalled. However, something I want to say, if for example this year's COD, which was Modern Warfare, was received poorly, like Advanced Warfare was, and lots of people weren't going to buy it, me included, and then all of a sudden they announce Advanced Warfare with multiplayer, I mean Modern Warfare Remastered, which got the whole COD community kind of hyped up and loads more people bought Advanced Warfare for the reason. Now this is a great thing for Activision then, for they have may, may have made a loss, however it wasn't such a big one as it would have been if they didn't bring out Modern Warfare Remastered with Advanced Warfare. Now if Modern Warfare tanked and people didn't like it before the game came out, just like Advanced Warfare, then I could see them bringing out Modern Warfare 2 Remastered with both campaign and multiplayer to keep some of their fan base. So that's kind of from a business point of view. And when I think about it, Infinity War are sort of geniuses. Well, they're kind of their marketing and finance teams are. They brought back an old school favorite like Captain Price and they brought back to like the Modern Warfare series or trilogy, whatever you want to say. The campaign was really good. I, I personally enjoyed it. Multiplayer is good. It could have been better because of the skill match matchmaking. Jesus, I don't know what happened to me there. And what we've had in a few years it's been better of however i still say that the black ops 4 was a good multiplayer warzone is slowly but surely taking over the battle royale genre and is nearly overtaking fortnite which is dying thank god hated that game when it came sway dead game and bringing out modern warfare 2 remaster campaign only is a great thing for it will give some people time just to get off modern warfare and be like, hey, I'm going to buy this and I'm going to hop onto this and play it for a while and probably hop back onto Modern Warfare. And with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, just being campaign means you don't need people working on it consistently. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, with online games or multiplayer games, you need servers, you need people to look after those servers, you need people to create the multiplayer, and you need people to be constantly fixing any bugs or glitches, etc, etc, that are in Modern Warfare, and you need to be constantly working on the multiplayer side of it. 
but with single player you don't because you don't need servers all you need is to create the campaign and basically just release it so why modern warfare 2 won't have modern warfare 2 remastered won't have multiplayer is one it'll take away from the game they spent three years on they also probably need more staff to handle the modern warfare 2 servers but they don't of course they don't have that they don't have the luxury of doing that right now because of everything that's happening now if infinity war or even activision would have been like with everything that's happening this year and happening now with things being pushed back with delays in the movie industry and many other industries it would be smart thing for them to do is have the multiplayer of modern warfare 2 remastered sitting waiting and say hey look no new COD game for 2020. Instead, what we'll do is we'll release the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2 for the year to bridge the gap and have maybe Infinity War or Sledgehammer Games or even Raven Software uh, look after that game that year and allow some breathing room for the next COD game and the next games after that, which I'll be talking about in my next video, so stay tuned for that. But that's what I think. Also, you got to take in consideration the next generation of consoles, the PS5 and the Xbox X series coming out around Christmas time. We could see Modern Warfare 2 Remastered come out then instead of being released now to give it more of a lifespan. So the whole circle or the cycle of the game isn't just dead once the PS4 or PS5 and Xbox X comes out. And yeah. That's really it guys, kind of a short video, I know I kind of, I, I don't want to say I went on a tangent or no, a rant in this, but some of the points that I made were very valid and I feel like more and more people are kind of understanding where I'm coming from and loads of other YouTubers have actually put up basically, not the same stuff, not from a business point of view, but definitely from uh from other angles and i'm just kind of doing a business point of view because i did business and i love business and yeah that's really it guys if you did like this video please hit the like button if you're not subscribed already please hit the subscribe button right beside that button there should be a notification bell you can stay up to date whenever i go live on the channel i also have a twitch link down in the description below and a twitter link down in the description below and yeah that's it guys and peace